The traveler, whose name was now Edward, embarked on his journey through the desolate wilderness of Alaska on a bitterly cold, gray day. The sun hung low in the sky casting feeble rays that barely penetrated the thick blanket of clouds overhead. Edward's breath formed wispy clouds in front of his face as he trudged forward, his heavy boots crunching through the pristine snow that covered the landscape like a frozen shroud. It was Edward's first winter in this unforgiving land, and despite his extensive preparations, he could not shake off the bone-chilling cold that seeped into his bones with every step. His thick fur-lined coat and insulated boots provided some protection against the elements, but the biting wind seemed to find its way through even the smallest gaps, sending shivers down his spine. At his side trotted his faithful companion, a large gray dog with piercing blue eyes that seemed to mirror the icy landscape around them. The dog, whose name was now Winston, was a constant source of comfort and companionship for Edward, providing warmth and protection during their long journey through the wilderness. Edward's destination lay several miles ahead a remote camp near Henderson Creek where his friends awaited his arrival. They had set out ahead of him, leaving Edward to navigate the treacherous terrain alone. But he was not afraid. He had spent years exploring the wilds of Alaska, honing his survival skills and learning to adapt to the harsh conditions that define this untamed land. As he trudged onward, Edward's mind wandered back to the events that had led him to this moment. He had always been drawn to the wilderness, to the untamed beauty of nature and the sense of freedom that came with it. But it was not until he had met Winston, a stray dog he had found wandering alone in the wilderness, that he truly felt at home in the wild. Together, Edward and Winston had forged a bond that transcended words, a bond born of shared experiences and mutual trust. They had faced many challenges together, from fierce blizzards to hungry predators, but their friendship had only grown stronger with each passing day. Now, as they journeyed through the frozen wilderness, Edward found solace in Winston's silent companionship, his steady presence a source of comfort amidst the desolation that surrounded them. Together, they pressed forward, their spirits undaunted by the harshness of their surroundings, their hearts filled with the promise of adventure and discovery. Chapter 2 The Frozen Stream as Edward and Winston continued their journey through the frozen wilderness, they soon came upon a narrow stream that snaked its way through the icy landscape. The stream, which Edward now knew to be called Indian Creek, was frozen solid, its surface covered in a thick layer of snow and ice. Edward paused for a moment surveying the frozen expanse before him with a practiced eye. He knew that crossing the stream would be treacherous, but he had no choice but to press onward. His friends awaited him on the other side, their campfire a beacon of warmth and companionship amidst the frozen wasteland. With Winston at his side, Edward cautiously made his way onto the icy surface of the stream, his boots crunching through the compacted snow with each step. The cold wind whipped at his face, sending a chill down his spine as he navigated the slippery terrain. Suddenly, Edward halted in his tracks, a sense of unease washing over him as he surveyed the frozen stream before him. Something seemed off, 
a subtle shift in the landscape that set his senses on edge. Instinctively, Edward veered to the left, skirting around a section of the frozen stream that looked particularly precarious. He had learned long ago to trust his instincts in the wilderness, to heed the subtle warnings of his surroundings lest he fall victim to its unforgiving embrace. As he pressed forward, Edward couldn't shake the feeling of foreboding that hung in the air like a heavy fog. The wilderness was a place of beauty and wonder, but it was also a place of danger, where one wrong step could mean the difference between life and death. Chapter 3 Lunchtime As Edward and Winston continued their journey through the frozen wilderness, the hours passed slowly, marked only by the steady crunch of their boots against the snow-covered ground. The sun hung low in the sky, casting long shadows across the frozen landscape as they pressed onward towards their destination. By midday, Edward's stomach began to grumble, reminding him that it was time to stop for lunch. He found a sheltered spot beneath the shelter of a snow-laden tree, where he could rest and refuel before continuing on his journey. With practiced hands, Edward removed his gloves and began to unpack his meager provisions. He had packed a simple meal of bread and dried meat, enough to sustain him until he reached his friend's camp at Henderson Creek. As he ate, Edward couldn't help but marvel at the stark beauty of his surroundings. The frozen wilderness stretched out before him in all directions, a vast expanse of snow and ice that seemed to stretch on forever. It was a harsh and unforgiving landscape, but it was also a place of untamed beauty and wildness where one could find solace amidst the silence and solitude of the wilderness. After finishing his meal, Edward took a moment to savor the warmth of the fire and the quiet stillness of the forest around him. He felt at peace here, at home amidst the towering trees and snow-covered landscape. With Winston at his side, he knew that he could face whatever challenges lay ahead, secure in the knowledge that he was not alone in this vast and untamed wilderness. Chapter 4 A Dangerous Mishap As Edward and Winston continued their journey through the frozen wilderness, disaster struck in the form of a sudden mishap. They had been making good time, their spirits buoyed by the promise of warmth and companionship at Henderson Creek, when suddenly, tragedy struck. With a sickening crack, the ice beneath Edward's feet gave way, sending him tumbling into the freezing water below. For a moment, he was submerged beneath the icy surface the frigid water stealing the breath from his lungs as he struggled to regain his footing. With a desperate cry, Edward clawed his way back onto the frozen surface, his clothes sodden and his limbs numb with cold. Winston barked anxiously, his blue eyes wide with concern as he circled his master, his fur bristling against the biting wind. For Edward, the shock of the icy water was quickly replaced by a bone-deep chill that seemed to seep into his very bones. His clothes clung to his skin like a second skin, weighing him down with their icy embrace as he struggled to regain his composure. With trembling hands, Edward reached for his pack, searching for the matches that he kept stored safely within. But to his horror, he found that they were wet, rendered useless by the icy waters of the stream. 
panic surged through Edward's veins as he realized the gravity of his situation. Without fire, he would quickly succumb to the bitter cold, his body shutting down as hypothermia set in. He had to act fast if he wanted to survive. Chapter 5 The Race Against Time With his heart pounding in his chest, Edward knew that he had to act quickly if he wanted to survive. The bitter cold of the frozen wilderness was already seeping into his bones, threatening to overwhelm him with its icy embrace. Desperately, Edward searched for dry wood, scouring the snow-covered landscape for any sign of shelter or protection from the biting wind. With Winston at his side, he combed the area, his eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of salvation amidst the desolation that surrounded them. Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, Edward spotted a small grove of trees in the distance, their branches laden with snow and ice. With renewed determination, he trudged through the knee-deep snow, his boots sinking into the frozen ground with each step. As he reached the shelter of the trees, Edward wasted no time in gathering dry wood, his hands moving with practiced efficiency as he worked to build a fire. With Winston's help, he soon had a small blaze crackling merrily in the shelter of the trees, its warm glow a welcome respite from the biting cold of the frozen wilderness. But even as the flames danced before him, Edward knew that his battle was far from over. The bitter cold of the frozen wilderness still clung to him like a vengeful spirit, its icy fingers reaching out to steal the warmth from his body with every passing moment. With grim determination, Edward set to work drying his sodden clothes and boots, his hands moving with practiced efficiency as he wrung the water from his clothes and hung them to dry by the fire. It was a race against time a battle for survival against the relentless onslaught of the frozen wilderness. But Edward was not one to give up easily. With Winston at his side, he would fight tooth and nail to survive, his spirit undaunted by the challenges that lay ahead. For in the frozen wilderness of Alaska, only the strong and the determined would emerge victorious, their courage and resilience a testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind. Chapter 6 A Narrow Escape As Edward and Winston continued their battle against the bitter cold of the frozen wilderness, disaster struck once more in the form of a sudden avalanche of snow. With a deafening roar, the heavy mass of snow cascaded down from the branches above, extinguishing the fire in an instant and plunging them into darkness once more. For a moment, Edward was paralyzed with shock, his mind racing as he struggled to comprehend the magnitude of what had just happened. The fire their only source of warmth and protection against the biting cold, was gone, extinguished in the blink of an eye by the relentless fury of nature. With Winston at his side, Edward knew that he had to act fast if they were to have any hope of surviving the night. The bitter cold of the frozen wilderness was already closing in around them, its icy fingers reaching out to steal the warmth from their bodies with every passing moment. With grim determination, Edward set to work gathering more wood, his hands moving with practiced efficiency as he worked to rebuild the fire. It was a race against time, a battle against the elements that threatened to engulf them in its icy embrace. 
But even as Edward struggled to kindle the flames once more, he knew that their situation was dire. The bitter cold of the frozen wilderness had already begun to take its toll on his body, its icy grip tightening with each passing moment as hypothermia set in. With Winston at his side, Edward fought to stave off the encroaching darkness, his spirit undaunted by the challenges that lay ahead. For in the frozen wilderness of Alaska, only the strong and the determined would emerge victorious, their courage and resilience a testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind. Chapter 7 The Final Stand as the bitter cold of the frozen wilderness closed in around them, Edward knew that their time was running out. The fire, their only source of warmth and protection against the biting cold, was flickering dangerously low, its feeble flames struggling to fend off the relentless onslaught of the frozen wilderness. With Winston at his side, Edward fought desperately to keep the fire alive, his hands moving with frantic urgency as he fed the flames with whatever dry wood he could find. But it was a losing battle, a futile struggle against the relentless fury of nature that threatened to consume them both in its icy embrace. With each passing moment, Edward could feel the cold creeping deeper into his bones, its icy fingers reaching out to steal the warmth from his body with every passing second. His limbs felt heavy and sluggish, his movements slow and labored as he fought to stay awake against the numbing embrace of hypothermia. But even as Edward's strength began to wane, his spirit remained unbroken. With Winston at his side, he refused to surrender to the bitter cold of the frozen wilderness, his resolve unyielding in the face of overwhelming odds. With a final burst of strength, Edward gathered the last of his reserves and threw himself into the fire, his body engulfed in flames as he fought desperately to keep the flames alive. But it was a futile gesture a final act of defiance against the merciless forces of nature that threatened to consume them both in its icy embrace. As the flames flickered and died, Edward felt himself slipping away into the darkness, his consciousness fading as he succumbed to the numbing embrace of hypothermia. But even as he drifted into unconsciousness, his last thoughts were of Winston, his faithful companion who had stood by his side until the very end. Epilogue, The Legacy of Survival In the end, Edward and Winston's valiant struggle against the bitter cold of the frozen wilderness would be remembered as a testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind. Though they had ultimately succumbed to the relentless fury of nature, their courage and resilience in the face of overwhelming odds would live on as a beacon of hope for future generations. Their story would be passed down through the ages, a tale of survival and sacrifice that would inspire countless others to brave the untamed wilderness of Alaska in search of adventure and discovery. And though they were gone, their legacy would endure, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of adversity. As the years passed, Edward and Winston's story would become legend, their names whispered in hushed tones around campfires and hearths alike. For in the frozen wilderness of Alaska, where the cold wind howls and the snow falls endlessly, their memory would live on as a reminder of the boundless courage and resilience that lies within us all.